Aloha Leo, this is Stephanie with the Whispering Dragonfly coming to you with your love story for October 2020. This is for Leo, Sun, Moon, and Rising Signs, also your Venus. Please do like, share, subscribe, hit the bell button, all those things help to grow and expand my channel. And if you'd like to leave a donation or get a private reading, that information is in the description box below. Aloha Leo, this is Stephanie with the Whispering Dragonfly coming to you with your a love and romance love story for October um, 2020. This is for Leo, Sun, Moon, and Rising signs. We're going to just um, get an archetype for each of you and see what the energy is flowing through between the two of you. This is for um, if you're partnered or not, you know, this is who you might want to partner with, right? Okay. <laughs> Okay, cool. And now let's get the energy between you, Leo. These are the Beyond Lemuria cards. So, so far what's come out, Leo, is your energy is that of the one. So, month of October, you're going to be really coming through in this energy of being one with the everything, okay? So, um, you're really coming through as um, the one, not just in the everything, but for the partner that you are wishing to be with or already are with, you're the one for them, okay? You're coming through as the one. They're coming through as the comic, okay? So, this is a funny um, person that... Um, that either you're with or you're intending to be with because what you got is stepping through okay so what i'm seeing here is that you're stepping through the threshold so this relationship if you're already together is going to be moving to a new level if um you're not together already this will be moving to being into that togetherness stage excuse me yeah so um you're grounding in this Ten of Cups energy. So that's what fell on the floor. Um, and so Ten of Cups is that perfect partner, happy home, dreams come true, happy place to be, okay? And so this is really, uh, Leo, you're really moving into some, some happier times. Like you guys are stepping through the gateway together. And, um, you know, this, some of you may be, um, like moving in together or some of you may be moving together in um, a relational way like if you're not together already in a relationship or partnership um, but the whole intention here is the happiness that you deserve I feel like Leo you've had um, some challenging times yeah because you got eight of wands next so you're moving away swiftly from the things that have hurt you in the past. Um, you're dropping the illusions and um, beginning to work together as a team in a community, okay? And so let's get the rest of, yeah. Very cool. Yeah, awesome. Okay, so under the Ten of Cups is the Ten of Swords. So you have two tens here. So. Basically, um, the Ten of Swords is burdens, and what you're doing is this relationship, the, the comedy and you being in that kind of oneness state and you being the one for them, you guys stepping through the threshold together, this Ten of Cups, this happy home is really going to cancel out and help you to release those burdens of the past. I feel like you've been carrying very heavy burdens, and this energy is here to help you to release those burdens. It's it's like love melting away all of the fears, love melting away all of the old burdens, all the challenges that you had before. You're now um, being able to release those and rest. Eight of Wands is followed by Sky Father, okay? And this is Aries energy. And so you're moving away from that old energy. And this very well may be like a father-like energy that was an Aries, or a past romance that was an Aries. Um, 
this is the cosmic father saying, look, you deserve something better. You deserve to be in a situation that brings you happiness, that brings you um, joy. We're also recording this on um, the October 1st Aries full moon, okay? And with this being Sky Father, I feel like that moon situation is going to be important for you because next out, that card is the moon. So I do feel like you've got some illusions and um, uh, disillusions, if you will, that are going to be uh, revealed. You're moving away from that, um, you know, denial or looking at things through um, the perception of illusion. And then we have movement of cups, okay? So both of these are Pisces energy. Um, and what this is, is this is the flow, okay? So you um, release the illusions and then you move into the flow of the heart, Leo. So I feel like you're releasing um, all of those negative illusions and things that you've set up for yourself that you thought you maybe wanted or that um, I feel like for some of you, excuse me, I got something in my eye here. Um, I feel like for some of you, you have... Uh, not given this person the chance yet and so when you step through and release those illusions and realize what a great person this comic energy is um, it's really going to open doors for you to have this ten of cups okay three of pentacles is working together as a team and community look at the ants there they work together many hands make light work okay and we have heart of pentacles so there's an adjustment that's happening in your values, in your currency, in the way that you um, do money and do life. And so this person is going to bring you joy and happiness and the things that are going to help you to get along and work in teams and work in community. And it's really going to uplift your heart, like your value system, I feel like is changing month of October, like the things that you truly value are um, beginning to change. And then we have temperance, which is um, Sagittarius, but I also see this as Libra too. And um, there's a balancing that's an occurring, okay? So temperance always says, look, there's balance that's occurring, so please have patience. So as you're coming through this process, have patience because you are um, moving towards your highest destiny of happiness, okay? this month you are stepping through with your beloved into a um, new level of partnership so wherever your level is now you're going to the next level okay so some of you that might just be getting a communication some of you that's moving in together some of you that's beginning the relationship in a um, romantic way okay so really really grateful for this Leo I feel like um, this is a beautiful read for you because it's like you had some, I think, old past programming with this Eight of Wands, you moving away from that swiftly and showing there was some old past programming that was messing with your head. And, um, and now you're moving into higher sides of yourself. So the advice from Spirit is we have the Realm Bridger and the star seer, okay? So you guys together are really this um, powerful couple, okay? Because you bridge the realms. I do think this person uh, may not have been one that you thought you would choose, not your normal type, okay? Um, but they bring you great joy. And together, um, you're really going to come into your gifts of um, seeing and being able to travel the realms. Some of you may be having this relationship astrally and it's stepping through the gate and having them um, manifest on earth, okay? So there's a grounding that's occurring so that you can have this joy and love in the relationship on earth as well as in heaven, okay? And so really beautiful, you guys are bridging the realms for each other um, you're seeing the future correctly and using your um, innate talents and gifts. And so um, this is really beautiful. And you are the one, Leo, okay? 
at least you are for this comic, whoever that is, and so you are stepping through into this new um, part of your journey together, whatever the next step is for you individually, because this is a general reading, okay? So thank you guys so much. Thank you for liking, sharing, subscribing. I appreciate that. This is really beautiful, Leo. I do feel like you're moving to the next steps with your beloved, whoever they may be, and that's a really beautiful thing because you have some um, uh, awesome gifts together, okay? So until next time, aloha.